hello and welcome to my channel sorry while well, I just move things into position and oops, have a look at what I've got okay um this package it says purses because that's what my tracking code says it is and it's quite small um, it's in a boot um, bubbly thing I miss my little scissors I've taken my little scissors and put it into my crochet bag and I miss having it anyway mm. yes these are a little bit unwieldy that's what I get for buying scissors online from the supermarket because <laughs> you can't tell how big they are anyway all right these are purses now I'm expecting the bits to be inside each one and I hope hang on I've got the picture correct have some fun. Alright, best. I think I got them all. Yay, that was actually quite fun. Alright, so we've got an owl and we've got this gorgeous, gorgeous flower. The colours on this were just incredible. Now this is actually quite small, so it's in here and in here, so it's quite detailed. Now I also have soft resin so I will seal these in soft resin to stop them coming off. I did see somebody comment that they had purchased one of these, they'd thrown it into their bottom of their bag and the drills started coming off and I'm kind of thinking um, yeah no surprising really they're not built to keep drills on if you're gonna have them brushing up against stuff so please if you're going to do this kind of thing, please be careful with these. I thought they might be able to be used for, well, a number of things really. So you've got this pretty keyring, although, hmm, interesting. So you've got the tassel down the bottom and then you've got a keyringy thing up here. I'm guessing there's a strap in here too. So we've got drills, we've got a toolkit and we've got a chain okay so the chain goes on um, I may or may not give this to the step kid she does carry around a bag occasionally so you've got the not even vanilla toolkit this is like beyond vanilla this is so basic it's got a few bags which there's maybe five or six in there small wax green boat and pen now the only thing is these pens struggle to pick up the special rhinestones because the rhinestones are a little bit too big. So that's my only advice on that. My favourite pen for rhinestone work is the um, double-ended with the solid wax head and I must do some doctoring on this because the head has a little bit of a wobble on it that for me is a little bit fiddly and annoying just because it wobbles. But then, then, that's just me. All right, I'm seeing up to 10, and no, I see a 12. Okay, so I'm expecting 12 in here. All right, we have the bog standard black. Now, like I said on my previous video, this is struggling to focus, so I'll take my time. So we've got a black, we've got a silver rhinestone, which is really clear just with the silver back. We've got this gorgeous kind of jade green like rhinestone. Oh, that's a really, really pale blue. Now, I'm trying to get the glare off it. And come on, focus, camera. This is why I don't like the autofocus. Come on. Play ball. There we go. So it's a very, very pale blue. But it's cherry pink. We've got a yellow. Again. It's not playing. But you can see the colour. I'll fix this in between videos. There is the purple. And there's a very, very pale yellow. Now, this one is a faceted marquee. It's not a small marquee. This one is a slightly smaller marquee. 
This is a white opalescent dome. And this is a pink kind of faceted or red faceted dome. So you've got 9, 11, 12, 10, no, okay, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then there should be 8. All right, so everything is here. Hopefully there's enough. I have had a notebook where there wasn't quite enough and that was a bit disappointing, but I raided my other rhinestones and made it work. So. Potentially this is the kind of kit that I would give to my stepdaughter to do, so I'm going to put the toolkit back in. Um, and pack it away so it's Clean, new, and ready to give to her. Her birthday is way too far off for that. And this one, which I think I just love the colours. Here's the overlap. Okay, so toolkit chains down the bottom and I'm seeing seven on this one. Han, could you see if you could take a look at the focus on this, please? The computer must have reset and it's lost its fix. All right, so I've got one, two, three, five. Okay. All right, so we've got a blue. We've got an orange, we've got a green. They're all in round rhinestones. And then we've got this purple marquee, a tiny purple marquee. Then we've got um, the orange pear with the opalescent finish. We've got a medium sized faceted red um, dome. And then we've got two sevens. Okay, so there's two of those in the gold dome and there's one place needed so yeah again love how they're generous they give you spares really really appreciate that um some gorgeous gems in this collection though um yeah i'll really really enjoy rhinestone kind of special gem work they work up really really quickly they're fun to do the impact is just like mind-blowing it just jumps off the page a um, lot, a lot of fun, and these are kind of nice for a fakey leather bag. And um, this color is particularly vibrant. Um, and yeah, it's got the clear cover on the top. And um, yeah, as I said, soft resin will seal it. Pop it in, put it away. There you go. All right, they're so my two purses they are becoming quite um a fun extra a lot of people are getting into the the purses um in the special drills they're not overly expensive they're maybe seven or eight dollars australian so um yeah a little bit of fun i can see some outliers here too um with those it's cool i'm looking forward to being able to do these or get the little one to do that one all right thank you for watching um and um you can check out my other videos please click like subscribe um drop me a comment um and do all the, the usual stuff and i will see you around on the tubes thank you